Hi, just give me a moment. Just getting rid of a bot real quick. There we go. Okay, get the game loading. Uh, meanwhile, you might have noticed I have made the uh, follower goal a bit more official. Got that follower down, got that banner down there. Meanwhile, we were... Uh, man, it feels like it's been ages. Probably because I had a, I only got to stream one day, the, this on one day, the last two weeks when it came up. And anyway, we're in the middle of the Omega DLC. Uh, this feels like it'll be a bit of a long one, but I'm hoping I can have it done tonight. Am I even going the right way? You know, we're just going to pretend I'm going the right way until I see otherwise. That's the problem when you get yanked away in the middle of these things. You come back and it's just, what am I doing? Also, hopefully everyone had a nice holiday. I was home the whole time. It was quiet. Rampart Max incoming. Hiya, buddy. They left an atlas behind to cover their retreat. Oops. Should have stopped the heal. Oh well. Rampart mechs incoming. First these guys come in here. Then they go away. This way. Right. This way? Okay, this way. And then probably down here. Yes. I'm half expecting something to jump at me any moment now. No? You're just gonna let me go down? Okay. Just let me check something real quick. I did unmute myself, right? Yeah, I unmuted myself. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you're not afraid of heights. I actually don't like heights. No, it's true. I don't actually like heights much. Made that time I went to the Hoover Dam kind of interesting. Finally, a little recognition. Actually, Arya, I'm Tarkin. 
target alpha. Lockdown system's been compromised so many times, it hardly knows up from down anymore. Nirene to base. Need an engineer at the catwalk's entrance. Door jammed again. This may take a moment. Else want to jump down? Anyone? Come on, it's fun. Will our next victim come on down? Are those doors open yet? They're working on it. They've hacked the bridge controls. I found their weakness. They can't aim down. Doors open. Let's go. Hurry up. I need to get to my people. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before. They're a nightmare. Techno zombies. After you left, Cerberus lost. And they look like Cthulhu. Them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. They... I, I think that's kind of what they do. Come to think of it, an Omni Blade might be a good idea. I'll think about it. Here, we found more medical supplies.
Word is the attack on the station was led by Arya and that she's on board now. Boss is headed off to investigate. Try to stay out of trouble while she's gone and don't get caught. Horses are tied down right now, so rescue options are limited. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As everything's in place, the entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. Hi, Alex. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Except be by ready. you. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Yes, I'm on my own for a little bit. No, no, she's following. Or I go back out here. This is just really fun to play.
The Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what. I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to bring you in fast. Urgently, Hello? sensitive excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved, I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious, you seem... He's from the last game, isn't he? I had a discount at your store the last time I was here. Enlightened, I see. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative, the General threw out Arya's couch from Afterlife upon taking over. I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. The queen needs her throne. <laughs> sure. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. You know, well, let's take Omni Blade Two and something. Okay. Relax, I got this. Scouts are ready to go. Blocked enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. Squad leaders are prepping their units. Ready to go in five. Talk to me, as I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol caught her in the perimeter. Please. You didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. 
Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyreen. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. Mm -hmm. Excuse All me. All supplies have been distributed to the ground forces. Shepard, got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. The few of my people surrendered. And he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. Interesting. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me and haunts me. I'm still going with the theory that Cerberus has been indoctrinated because of messing with Reaper tech. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. I appreciate it, Irene. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. Commander. You know, before anything else, I see we picked up some codex. The Cabals are an elite biotic Turian unit whose dictum is the intangible is unstoppable. As Turian biotics are relatively rare, with biotic abilities manifesting in only a small percentage of element zero exposed Turians, Cabals tend to be small and only comprised of 10 to 15 individuals led by a commanding officer called the Cabalum. Turian Cabal is often deployed covertly as shock troops or saboteurs, who are there sent on long reconnaissance missions for the hierarchy. <clears throat> In addition to biotic training, all Cabal soldiers are highly skilled in small arms, explosives, infiltration tactics, and piloting. Centuries ago, during the Unification Wars, military black ops would recruit Turian biotics as infiltrators, planting them anonymously in irregular infantry as observers or using them as assassins. 
This historical practice has left a cultural bias against biotic soldiers amongst the Turian rank and file. As a result, the Turian hierarchy prefers to keep its cabal isolated from other branches of the military, citing safety and unit cohesion concerns. Even Turians whose biotic abilities are not combat proficient are segregated into cabals, often forcing them to cut short their promising careers in order to serve as medic or maintenance officer. However, cabal soldiers are professionals. Those who do not adapt are quickly weeded out, resulting in strongly unified teams of experienced, deadly biotic warriors who need their isolation as, ne as a necessary sacrifice to protect the hierarchy. The War of the Reapers means that the Turian hierarchy no longer has the luxury of keeping such powerful assets in reserve. Many cabals have been placed, recalled to Olivin, while the more experienced, the most experienced have been dispatched to the front lines for surgical strikes on Reaper strongholds or to provide support on for regular infantry. And I need a drink. Better. I think everyone's about as set up as I could actually. Yeah, I don't feel any need to get crazy on mobbing. Yeah, as always, little sad I can't do multiplayer. We're arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics. I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No. You had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. Not about to go Cthulhu in here, is it? Is it about to go Cthulhu in here? Feels like it's about to go Cthulhu in here. You know what? Just let me check some stuff. I swear I must have missed some of this stuff. Oh well. If I don't get them, I don't get them. We're doing enough. I don't think I need the rewards. The relic? Are you thinking dead space? Because now that I say that, yeah. Yeah. Am I going to get told to shoot the limbs off? More dead. It's a bloodbath. I've got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be quiet. I have dead space. I should stream that at some point. An adjutant. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Ah, right. The techno zombies. Wrong button. Did I just come this way? That's where I started. Turning around, turning around. I've gotten myself lost. The 
elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. These pipes power the door. We should follow them. Okay. I see. This way then. Okay, this is a little confusing. The whispering's receding. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. Down this ladder. There's the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! <laughs> Okay, it's Techno Zombie Cthulhu. Sure, we'll go with this. And now it's dead. I hate those things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. But first. Adjutant is a Cerberus codename for the experimental subject to create a secret facility beyond the Omega, Omega 4 relay. The creatures are based on Reaper technology, there's your first mistake, and the adjutants encountered on Omega have the ability to infect any life form to create a new adjutant. Adjutants are deadly pack hunters. They initially remain hidden, observing potential victims and distracting them with subtle whispers. When they select a target, adjutants ambush them with charged projectiles that create a violently unstable mass effect field that causes severe disorientation and renders the target helpless. Enhanced muscle tissue give adjutants the ability to leap surprising distances, allowing them to close in and infect their targets quickly. The baseline form of the being does not match any known species. The biologists suspect the Reapers may have originally created and implemented this virus several cycles before the proof in extinction and that it still carries genetic traces of its original host. This is true, then like collectors, adjutants are a glimpse into the distant past at a species whose very existence and struggles against the Reapers have long been forgotten. Spiffy. This way? This way. Anybody else? I think we got them all. Let's 
try the elevator again. Stay alert. All right, into the elevator. I'll seal the door, just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the General sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If he'd stuck it out here, maybe he'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. I'm OP, it's cool. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. Access to the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. Hmm. It's always fun when you end up jumping halfway across the map like that. Oh, I see I had a stick near this one. Oopsies. Looks like that goes under the conveyor belt. Bastards are running this place too hot. It'll burn out in a month. Stay focused. <laughs> going to get us there.
anybody? Okay. Made it. Hit the switch. They know our target. Expect heavy reinforcements. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. Way, buddy. Looks like Cerberus invaded here. Killed everyone. Now we're paying them back in kind. I'm sure your dead workers feel much better now. The elevator to the reactor is across the way. Careful, this place is falling apart. Strange. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for anything. I'm expecting a big nasty boss fight soon. Or, well, you know, it would be big and nasty if not for the fact that I'll just punch it to death. Why are you grinning, Arya? We're almost there. When the force fields come down, this war finally begins. For some of us, it started months ago. That wasn't war, babe. That was just warm up. There's the reactor, straight ahead. Yep, that looks very reactor. <laughs> well, it's not like it matters to her. She only got involved now. I commend you. Your plan of attack was impeccable. Looks like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! What the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. We'll do it your way. Hello. Nice thing about having 200% recharge is these things are ready to go again pretty much about as fast as I can fire them.
How did you know you could do that? I didn't. Right. Oh, I see you over there. Going renegade. Down. I'm stabilizing. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload now. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you win. Oops, I didn't mean to do that one. Dang it. I actually did not mean to click that. I'm going to see if I can reload as soon as it lets me, but I'm betting it's going to auto save over it. efforts to kill me your soft heart almost cost me everything Shepard tried rerouting power to save innocent lives it was the right thing I suppose whatever you fought bravely against those mechs in there Nyrene. very impressive but why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack it's pathetic you tense up at the mere mention of those abominations What's going to happen uh, if we run into that? Morna? My hand was off the mouse. Huh? She'll find out what she's really made of. Let's move on. Gladly. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Yeah, saving content. I probably lost my auto save. Why does it keep a few? Down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Arya, right here. Report. My team is scouting. Great, engage. 
Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up? Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. The only route to the central column... Yeah, we lost it. I'm gonna have to live with these mistakes. I forgot to make a save before earlier. For what it's worth, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal in the end. Nyreen here. We've engaged Cerberus and cleared our first target. ETA to the Gozu district is on track. Excellent. Shield away. Shepard, we need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. Grab some stuff. You survived that? No, you didn't. We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. Got it. Those bombs just went off. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. My dash is a shortcut. Two more. Hi, thanks. No bunch of distracted. Just one to go. Who 
Snipers left. This way, Shepard. Over here. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozer district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. Hi guys. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Hi, I am ready. Success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. You know what? I'll go uh where I I think this is just like the log, so we'll double back in a moment. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly regardless of the host used. That's not creepy at all. As a second entry. Oops. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Credits and nothing more, it seems, sadly. I was hoping one of the quest items was in there, but I have a feeling I missed those earlier. Um, 
Yeah, this is long. I suspect it's going to take up most, if not all, the stream. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Test adjutants have escaped. They are to be rounded up and transferred to Central HQ's holding area post haste. Damage is to be avoided at all costs under penalty of severe combat pay reductions. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. Doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Don't let them Look out! Hello! Yeah, this morning was kind of a mess. The uh, I have to take a bus to work. It's not bad despite my disability. The stop is about a block away from home. I only have to take one bus. It goes pretty much right to where I work. Pretty good. I'm lucky. Today, the... Uh, today, that intersection was blocked off with police tape. I have no idea what happened, but I had to walk like a mile to go get my bus. We're almost there. I think I ended up, I had to arrive at Lurk kind of late, take a detour over to Duncan because I'm near one. Because uh, work is actually near one, go get some mint tea. Try to wake myself up a bit. Yeah, I can... So the same thing goes for going home. Sometimes I have to take a bus that just drops me about a mile away from work because it's either that or wait forever. If I have to do it every once in a while, it's not terrible. I can make that walk despite my disability, but it's like you don't want to do that too often. It's you again. The preacher from the second game. Repent and restore your souls to glory. Before it. This great patient. Hey, what about behind me? Yeah, it's just credits. that workbench make sure I'm yeah I got it okay oh yeah there's the workbench a little confused like why can't I see it anymore Right. 
Cerberus is still on my station, of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyreen? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. Afterlife is going to hell. Wait a sec. She pissed. I don't think there's going to be much for me in there. Irene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man. No, wait. <laughs> what now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. They are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. Hold the perimeter. Keep Shepard away from those generators. Thanks for telling me what I need to do. Oh, my incendiary ammo is off. Come on, turn back on. Control over that way.
guess we got a clean room now. Yeah, it it helps that I basically got the most hacks uh, class in the game. Didn't even intend to do that. That's just kind of what happened. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed, and I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. But I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. For my partner and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. Take him, Shepard. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking Alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable lives. Who knows? You know what, I'm just gonna... seen what you're capable of firsthand. Maybe Arya's instincts were right. So, you're going to execute me. I'm your prisoner. You can't just shoot me in cold Don't blood. Don't want to shoot him, just want to get a stare. you Alliance everything, I'm giving you back to Arya. Bray, get him out of here. You've got good control, Shepard. I know it's hard to resist that impulse. for months walk around with you for a few hours and I go all soft you're like a disease an awesome disease came at a cost Aria it's not soft to recognize that you sound like someone trying to sell something I admire your tenacity and thanks to you I have Omega back so what's your plan there's a lot to rebuild starting with this Command center. Excuse me. Nah, eh, it's fine. I think I missed all the side quests, but I doubt there's much to gain from them at this point. Wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The 
citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? Yeah, we don't need cash. Everywhere I, look. I don't think there's any war ass. Is there any war assets in the DLC? And don't worry. Because that's like the only I'll thing that matters right now. We need war assets. Troops, ships in a mountain of Izo. And even then, I'm probably right. well then set to going. just get what Maybe I need we'll out of the base back. game. What's left of the base game. To whip into shape. We'll check when I'm back on Normandy. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, yeah. Omega Cloak, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... And we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. Hmm. But securing this station and everyone inside is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. Our Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. Shepard, I had Petrovsky's chessboard sent to the Normandy. Doesn't, just doesn't go with the new decor I have planned for Afterlife. Probably very hookers and blackjack there. It's a neat DLC. Feels a little oddly isolated, like... I feel like they could have done more of the adjutants with them, like, actually converting other... With them, like, actually converting things that you have to fight, but... Eh. But, you know, it's a DLC. It's a small, mostly self-contained adventure. And on that front, yeah, it does a good job. And it kind of closes... And it does kind of finally close up the Omega stuff that started in 2. And you find her in... And you only like, find her in Citadel. So it wraps that up nicely. Shepard, I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you meet me in the com commons? I'll send an app point. No vids this time, I promise. I'll probably want to do that soonish. Squad continues to defend a fuel reactor on I one. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down, not on my watch. We will hold the line. Yeah, I think that's the other thing that kind of sucks. That is the one thing that kind of sucks is we got two awesome new party members. You don't get to take them out of the DLC. It's over. We won't see them again. Well... Maybe in Citadel, because that's the big grand finality everyone shows up for. But they won't be in our party anymore, and I can't change that. Okay, so I just want to do a quick check on war assets, and then I'm going to go to the comments for that, because of that memo. Get that done. And then I think we have another DLC to start in. We're only about halfway through my stream. Maybe I can get the other one done in time. Today and be ready for something else Thursday. Yeah, uh. Hey, Alex, I think you said for like the best ending, I only need it like, what, 75% full? We're close. Yeah, we got stuff from Omega for the DLC. That's neat. Yeah, I've been pretty thorough about doing every quest I can get. And yeah, 75 to 85. If this isn't 75 now, we're close. Yeah, 300. It's, 
That might be the single biggest asset. We, let me look a little, just out of curiosity. I'm just going to thumb through some stuff real quick. That 300 EZO horde might be the single largest single, the largest single contribution we have. So I'll check anything that's like over 300. Oh, nope. The Krogan clans and clan are not tie it. But I don't think we have anything higher than 300. Oh, no, wait. The Geth corpse are slightly higher. The Geth fleet is a whopping 450. But it is easily still one of the biggest things we've got in one shot. Our total military strength is... Yeah, 5833. Like I said, maybe I missed some stuff there, but I don't think we... In my end, I think we mi I don't think we missed anything super important, and it looks like with what's left in the base game and the DLC, we're set to get the best ending. Mind, it's like I said going into this, I'm trying, I make no guarantees. I know we managed to get the best out of two, out of two. Because I didn't lose anyone to the suicide mission. Because I saw the suicide mission incoming and planned accordingly. Okay. Ashley, on accident. I actually wasn't going to bother with anyone, and then it just kind of... I had sex on accident, which is a completely insane statement to make, but it's also completely true. <laughs> okay, I want to go Alliance Docks this time. Bryson's lab will be next. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. That was back in the first game. Also, just to give you an idea on how long this, I've been at this, a uh, few days ago, I checked my time on Steam. It's a little under 100. It was a little under 100. We can subtract a couple hours from that because I poked at this game a bit before I started streaming it, but yeah, this will probably be over a, a bit over 100 hours when I'm done. Okay, Miranda's right somewhere around here. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a Cacleosaur. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. Yeah, it's, uh... I, I put my games up for vote, usually, in this case. One of the ones I put forward was Mass Effect Trilogy, as in, yes, I'll do the whole thing. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarm their <laughs> yeah. I, I say I spared the rack, my queen, so I think we got to the end of that part already in three. Miranda, where the hell are you? Up here. Okay. I got your message, Miranda. Yeah, I'll look into that one in a moment. Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. All right. You'll have your access, Miranda, but I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. 
The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. As I mentioned before, he wanted his Shepard original recipe. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two mm. years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. You know, it is, I noted before, it is, especially with how much they overhaul things between games, it is good that they allow you to change your class and rebuild yourself at the start of each game. It is a little weird how you can start, how like, I started a soldier in the first game because I better just smash the roof with assault rifles. Then I played an engineer. Then I switched to biotic. And the game makes no mention of the fact that I seem to be changing careers drastically between games. I mean, Soldier Engineer, sure, okay, whatever. I, I picked up some funny stuff when they rebuilt me, but this one, it's like, I got out of prison. Or some sort of detainment. And I now have biotic powers because reasons. Okay, I want to see if I can... Excuse me, this will probably silence things for a moment. Because I'm going to look up if I can get the Cacliosaur fossil now. So, looking up the Mass Effect wiki. I can do this now. This comes in after Geth Dreadnought, which I have done. So, I gotta go to Intel say in Phoenix, which is in Argus Row. So, let's just do this real quick. <laughs> oh, that is an image. That is an image. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off. Glowing blue is the new black. <laughs> yeah, I did spare Rex. Okay, so I want to go to Argus Rio. There it is. Now I 
want to go to Phoenix. And I'll make a save before I hit the skin, because we're halfway through the stream. I haven't saved once, which is kind of dumb of me. Oh, there's the planet. I found something. Yeah, that's weird. You know what? The scanning in this... The fact that you can get locked out is annoying, but it's nowhere near as bad as what 2 was. There's a Cacleosaur. Now we go back to Citadel Commons and I'm ready to do the next DLC. Oh yeah, that's the next main quest. Straightforward, but it's very, very slow. The other thing that's kind of the nice thing about three though is what annoyances it has is mitigated somewhat by the fact that you don't really have to do that much. Particularly if, like me, you just use a guide for the major go find stuff quest to keep it to a minimum. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Yeah, and I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Like I said, I've been cheesing it with a guide because. I'm not against that, especially for a game like this, which can devolve into guesswork at times. That's a big part of the reason I was able to uh, ace the suicide mission is I just let Alex help me. It's like, OK, I'll ask questions. Let's not mess with this. Actually, I found a Cacleosaur skull mm. preserved in amber. Maybe you could clone it or. You're kidding. You're kidding. Seriously? Well, um if the genetic material is intact, we could... Hmm, we've got cloning facilities on Sarkesh. Cacleosaur genes were remarkably pliable. Cloning might be effective. This is a terrible idea. Oh, thanks for following. By the way, uh, if you don't mind me asking, I'm just really curious. I am ready, uh... Is your did you make your name like that to try to trick streamers into saying the full thing? Because if you did, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Aww. I do not want to visit Sirkesh Park. I'm just saying. It is funny because, I mean, I'm going to say right now, I can only imagine you uh, hitting followers that are going to stream in the stream going, oh, hey, thanks, I am ready to poop. Wait a sec. And that is actually really funny. <laughs> Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. And now we have to leave Citadel Station so we can go to Citadel Station. Yeah, because <laughs> once you showed up, I was immediately thinking, wait, is this just a mess with people? Because I could totally see that. You're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. Okay, first and foremost, I actually have to save. I have not done that at all. There we go. Anyway, thanks for the follow. I'm... Did you update already? 
Oh, hey, it updated already. Yeah, I have a follow goal going. Once I hit 100, uh, the next game I stream, once I finish one of the runs I'm currently running, is going to be Yakuza. As in the whole thing from 0 to 7. And I'm hoping to get hold of it soon, because... I'll know right now, just to... I'm not marathoning it, because that would be absolutely insane. And I actually juggle multiple games on stream, so I'm still going to do that. It's just one of my main games from here on in will, once I hit that hundred, will be, you know, I'll start with Yakuza 0, and then there won't be any voting. Once I finish that, I'll just jump to Kiwami 1, then 2, and, you know, keep going and finish with Like a Dragon. Uh, Lost Judgment is, I don't have Lost Judgment yet. That is not slated to be streamed. Maybe another time. Well, to put things in perspective, right now I'm playing Mass Effect 3. Again, as part of doing the whole trilogy in one as a single playthrough, because that's the best way to handle Mass Effect. That's almost done. Um, the other games I have going right now is the other main game I have, I play alternating weeks, is Neo 2. On Fridays, I've been playing through the God Eater trilogy with Retro. And on Saturdays, I've been playing Soul Nomad and the World Eater. Uh, if you look down on, if you're viewing me through uh, like your desktop on Twitch and scroll down a bit, you can see a list of previous games. Uh, you can see a list of games I've previously beaten on stream. It's a bit of a mix. I do lean heavily towards like RPGs and other story-based games. Do I have anything on the private terminal? No. Okay. We don't go to the apartment because that starts Citadel, which we're saving that for last because as far as we're concerned, it's the real ending. Let's go to the lab. Contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, Humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Why do I feel like we've come into... We've encountered somebody who believes in ancient aliens? Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough is near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! Uh! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! Yeah, I'm very late in the game. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. Uh, I'll He's speak worked here for a couple months. Over. Shepard, I monitored a CSEC alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... 
What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a loud noise. I'm not going to renegade. Shooting him. It's very obvious something weird happened to him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that. Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander. You'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. I was gonna say, I'm very late in the game. It's why I'm hoping, like, you see I have that goal for 100, like I said, I have the goal for 100 followers to start Yakuza. I don't have a time limit on it, but I'm hoping I hit it soon. Because if I hit it soon, I could start uh, Yakuza 0 as soon as I finish Mass Effect 3. Because I, this is probably the game I will be finishing soon. Neo 2 is the other game I'm playing. That one might be a ways off. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Okay. Well, let's uh, read first. Oh, there wasn't a codex entry. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. That's a husk head. It's like the creepiest desktop toy ever. Why am I still doing this? 
actually have quite a few screams on it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna knock it off now. It's just weird. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the Galaxy Map program. It's just weird. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Looks like we need to search outside a little. Yeah, I'll keep poking the head in a moment. I can look at that one in a moment. I got I, I've got a head to poke at. I think I'm lost. Where the hell's that head? There we go. I'm not sure this is doing anything anymore. Oh. Okay. That wasn't helpful, but it was certainly interesting. is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster is more interesting. Interesting and non-existent. I mean, Bryson here, I'd have to expect to claim the uh, aliens built the pyramids, so. By Ann Bryson, age nine. Records indicate Ann is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis, but I detect no trace of the decryption key in this art. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. 
Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong, and Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rachni ships, it may help us narrow our search. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. I can still look at this. By Anne Bryson, age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 20. By Anne Bryson. The Thorian, a life form discovered on Pharos, provides fascinating insight into the life cycle of age ruling alien species. Unlike conventionally intelligent life, it does not use mass relays. Protein artifacts would not interest it. We met this in the first game. Commander Shepard claims that Reaper enemies cultivated life to evolve along lines they could predict using technology the Reapers controlled. Thorian is an exception to that rule. It evolved to use organic tools rather than conventional technology. Leviathan must be somehow similar to have survived undetected for so long. Thorian used pain conditioning to control its victims, using it as manual labor, even as a man would use his own hands and fingers. Commander Shepard claims that Reapers do the same thing through a different process called indoctrination. Remember, Leviathan is, it must do something similar. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. The photographs have a trace chemical residue. It may be visible under another light source. Like this. That's not unsettling. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Meteorite fragment, maybe? Meteorite sample, with traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding it now. I remember when she was just an orb. The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. It's probably literal, but I don't think we have access to his body. Element zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. Blackout crimes? No, I did that one already. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. Alien sightings. Three possibilities. Okay, that knocks three of them out. What am I missing?
What's up all the toilet reading, dude? Green stone. For a moment, I thought a sink was somehow overgrown, which is weird. Yeah, I'm looking to go back upstairs because I, I think I was up there, but I might have missed something. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Yeah, I think there was like one or two things up here I missed. Though that, I, yeah, that I got earlier and I just missed that, so. I think this is the, where is that stupid thing? Over here. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. Reaper activity? We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. That means I don't have to search multiple systems now, and with it, probably doing multiple scanning pings. Here we go. I gotta go to Icer. On the bright side, no reaper activity means I can ping all I want. Signal confirmed. We have located Garneau. I mean, you've already got yourself involved, so we're keeping you. And let's bring him along. Seems fitting, because Reaper, old Reaper stuff. I don't have enough points.
Wait. This says you can increase force by 50 or you can increase damage in force by 50. Why would you ever pick this? We're about five minutes out, Commander. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Do we know anything more about this Leviathan? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is Garneau, Dr. Bryson's associate, that we are looking for. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Agreed. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Bryson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan 2, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them Reaper. for now. I see. That will be all. That will be... Hello? Yes. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. He would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. 
Yeah, thank. Fearful. It is difficult to determine why. We should repair the elevator. Excuse me. You don't belong here. Dr. Triffin, your appeal is denied, your resources are cut off, and you've been reassigned. Clean you out your office and report to Dr. Lan. There will be no further discussion on this matter. Interdestin? You can't be in here. I will call security. The test reportedly pushed this subject past his emotional breaking point. The subject is currently in a catatonic state and being treated in hospital. All further tests planned for this subject have been cancelled. Moving forward, a new screening process will be put in place to prevent similar delays. Turn back. Return to your ship, Commander. No, thank you. Log past several seven days. Garrett Allen was here. The security log at the elevator mentioned a Dr. Gando. Why are they lying about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. Oh, I did a little circle, All right? This is a restricted area. Personnel ID number is required. I don't have that. Access denied. Okay. Increase in electrical storm activity, communications with the beta site research team have been delayed. We ask all those awaiting data to please be patient. Current forecasts indicate that the storms will dissipate by the end of the week. Regular communications will resume at this time. I see a trend among the miners. They appear to be doing everything but mining. TGS Mineral Works has an eye on the future. Cutting edge research drives us forward.
shouldn't be here. Well, I can bypass this. Just gotta figure out where security is. This is a restricted area. Personnel ID number is required. I don't have that. Access denied. Here we go. Punch in Garno's terminal hack and see what it gets us. I'll try to check later, but I think we're pretty much set for the rest of the game with uh, equipment. A ship dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. Unknown male was involved in an altercation in the mines. This gun no human was heading to the mines. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab. A low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I have the file number. Let's go get Garneau. Neat. Oh, here we go. Found the upgrade completely on accident. Personnel review, Brown, Jeremy Brown, sector re-maintenance. Since applying recent feedback, your work has shown a vast improvement. Your work with the corrupted skin samples we acquired was impressive. You are being given a promotion and a raise in security access level. Thank you for your hard work. This review is confidential. Employees are encouraged not to leave reviews and views of others. Personnel ID. Three, six, four. Access granted. Is that Carno? It is difficult to tell. Dead humans all look alike. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you all right? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. 
What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. They attacked you. It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. Bryson's research led me to you. Bryson sent you? He's dead, Doctor. Killed by his assistant. I see. I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. What of the artifact you spoke of in your message? I did? No. Yes, Doctor. You did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? Doctor? Leave the artifact. You will not take what is mine. I don't believe we are speaking to Garneau. You. You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring only death. This way. Garno's notes gave us a nav point for the artifact. The map indicates a service door at the next tram station. Looks like we're not the only ones headed that way. I am noticing a pattern. Despite the law of the map, you will never find papers moving in a direction away from the map. Oh, right. Activate thermals. that about? The game just tapped itself out for a moment. Take a little while. Got it. One repair done. Gotta hold on Commander, to the we longer. still need to escort that. Understood. 
I'll check that codex entry in a bit. Shepard, over here. What have you got? That was not Garneau. This is. It appears he's been dead for a while. So, Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Well, anything else useful? Encrypted data, and a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Ann Bryson. And Bryson. Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you all right? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... All right. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Can you tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh, remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling, that's exactly what I felt. Hmm. That artifact, do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. Oh boy. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. These people are unaware of the past 10 years. Many things will show them. Now seems Leviathan not only has the power to destroy a Reaper, but possesses an indoctrination ability. What if it is a Reaper? I'm thinking it might be a rogue Reaper. If it is a Reaper, then it I don't know like what it's one. up to. How long has it been out here? And more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Garno's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. Whatever they are, their power and danger are clear. 
And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the citadel. So let me see. That hasn't finished things yet, but you know what? It's 10.30 and I can feel I'm fading fast right now. I am just unusually tired right now. So I'm going to take this as a stopping point. So let's get that save in and let's go find someone to pester. Yeah, this is... I'm not sure we could even finish this DLC in half an hour. We just hit a very nice stopping point and it's like... I'm about ready to head desk anyway, so I should just call now before I'm like passing out on stream. Be awkward. So let me look around, see someone to throw you at. You know what? We gotta eat. Airy playing uh some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think it's the Cowabunga collection. Let's go say hi. Anyway, I uh, I'll be back to this Thursday and should be able to finish the DLC and then it's back to the base game. Shouldn't be any more side quests for a little while. And Friday will hopefully be more God Eater with Retro. Well, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in a couple days. Later.